Okay, so first things first guys, what are we going to talk about today? Well, my favorite, one of the favorite activities down here at Red Branch Bushcraft guys is we're going to talk about fires. And we're going to learn a little bit about lighting fires, okay? Now this is the, the most, the, this is the basic fire lighting that I would do with groups when they come in the door first thing, okay? So what we are going to be using today guys is we are going to be using Petroleum jelly guys, petroleum jelly or Vaseline, okay? Vaseline is, is, is just a brand name, you know, stuff you get in the pound shop works 100%, okay? We are also going to be using cotton pads, okay? These are just uh, boots, standard, uh, cheapest chips, cotton pads, okay? Uh, uh, anything will do as long as it's a cotton pad or cotton wool or cotton ball or anything like that, okay? And what we're also going to be using, guys, is we are going to be using a ferro rod or a fire steel or a ferrocerium rod, okay, and a striker, okay. Now, these can be picked up from most outdoor shops, and you, there is a million and one places online that sell these, guys. And I will put links to my recommendations and ones I think work very well down below in the description, okay. And that they would be from, oh, if you can make that out from the Bushcraft store, guys, from the Bushcraft store in the UK, okay? And that's it, and that's all we're gonna be using. Here's the thing, right? As soon as you get a ferro rod, and you give it to a kid, and they figure out how to make a spark, they are going to forever do this. <laughs> Non-stop, guys, they won't stop. They just will keep doing that over and over and over again. And that's what we want, okay? That's what we want, yes, definitely. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in place a system where you can regain control of, of the activity, okay? And it's very simple. All you're gonna see is when you want to do something or move on, you're gonna ask the kids to put their tools down and this is their tool and then they just put it on the ground, okay? Let's get into it. So, this is the ferro rod and this is the striker, okay? Ferro rod, striker, okay? Now, <laughs> now, these, uh, all the ferro rods are pretty much the same thing, guys, okay? The strikers are always just a little bit different. Now, what we're going to focus on, guys, is we're going to just talk about these strikers for a little minute. Okay, so this is the striker, guys. And this is the striker that comes with uh, the Bushcraft store ones, all right? So what we have here is we have a couple of things that aren't really relevant. Actually, none of this is relevant. So this little wrench thing is not relevant. This is not relevant, okay? And the world's tiniest, most pointless ruler is not really relevant as, as at all to scraping out the fire the ferro rod okay so the reason the relevance of this is because if you hold your striker in your right hand this faces up in the air okay and we scrape the ferro rod with the side that has the ruler on it okay now on the back side on the back side of where the ruler is, guys, there's another ruler. And there's actually a tiny little lip that runs across the bottom of this. Okay? And it's not up here. And that is what scrapes the ferro rod. Okay? You can use this, guys, but I find that the serrated edges, or some of the, some of the strikers will have a saw up here. The saw or the serrated edges just tears up the ferro rod very unevenly and you're better off just sticking with the flat side like this. Okay, so how does it work? For this demonstration, guys, I'm, I'm going to be basing it around myself who is right-handed, okay? You can swap all, these, all this over for somebody who's left-handed, but you probably will need to find a different striker. I find that these strikers do not work very well for people who are left-handed, okay? So, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to hold the ferro rod in my bad hand, like this. I'm going to place the striker on top of it, like this. I'm going to make sure that my little wrench is facing up. I'm going to move the tip, tilt the ferro rod forward till it's at a 45 degree-ish angle. I'm going to push down 
and I'm going to scrape, okay? Like that. All right, now, let's get some better footage of that. Okay, so hold the ferro rod in your bad hand and the striker in your the hand you write with, okay? Now I want you to place the striker on the ferro rod, okay? And what Lily is gonna do is she's gonna tip it forward till it's at 45 degrees, okay? Push down with her right hand and scrape forward. <laughs> Brilliant. 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 Excellent, Lily. Excellent. Now here's the thing, guys. The ferro rod will always work. Always, okay? If, if we're having issues with making sparks and stuff like that, it's generally something to do with the striker, okay? And nine times out of ten, that striker is not in the proper position, okay? So you place the striker on top of the ferro rod, and what we're going to do is we're going to tilt it forward to about 45 degrees, make, and that will engage the little lip on the back of the striker, okay? All right. Right, so, you've shown them how to do all this, guys, right? You've shown them how to make sparks, all right? Let them off, let them go make sparks, all right? You've just got to make sure that there's a little bit of safety involved, that they're not sparking it into somebody's eyes, into somebody's face, okay? Generally, if they're sparking on clothes and on hands, okay, it's not going to do... The, the sparks aren't hot enough to burn you, okay? You know, from, from pretty close up as well, like, so... Just let them off and let them make sparks, okay? Because that's what they're going to be dying to do. And remember, you want to get their attention again. What well, all I say is, right guys, tools down. And they put these ferro rods out of their hands. And, you know, and make sure to put them out of their hands, guys. Otherwise, they're just going to be like this. Every, every time you stop breathing or stop talking, they're going to be. Because <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> Right, Lily's just setting up now, right? On the... Nice, Lily, nice. Lily here, guys, just if, just if you're watching this and you're not a subscriber, uh, Lily's my daughter, okay? So, so social distancing, yay! Oh. <laughs> okay, so, guys, <laughs> hey, Cooter, here, here's the thing, right? So, when, when, when you're lighting a fire, don't, don't bring your dogs. Bruno, go away, or Cooter, go away. Okay, so, guys, sit. Sit and stay. No, no, good dog. Sit and stay. Okay, so here's the thing, guys. When we are using our ferro rods, all right, what we always have to remember that the, 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 what we're trying to set on fire is going to be at the... <laughs> go away. No, away. Go on. Away. Go play. Go play. Good dogs. Good dogs. Go on. Go, Cooter. Go. No, go that way. Go that way. Good dog. Okay. Guys, what, what we're set, trying to set on fire is going to be at the bottom of our ferro rod, okay? Oh, no. So what that means is that we want to, making sparks like this, guys, okay, and striking off the end is going, as we get progressed further into our skills, it's actually going to make it harder for us to light something on fire, okay? So if you imagine what I am trying to light on fire is right at the end of my ferro rod, and if I scrape off the end of my rod and continue with the striker, I'm going to knock it away, okay? So what we want to do, guys, is we want to scrape and stop. Scrape and stop before we get to the end of the ferro rod. And the good way to do this, guys, is by doing something what we call fireworks. And Lily is the master of fireworks, okay? I bet you I won't be able to do it. <laughs> Probably she won't be able to perform on, 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 uh, on camera, so... Okay, so I what Lily is doing here is she is scraping off, she's scraping down the ferro rod really slowly, okay, and by doing it slowly, it doesn't spark. But you can see here is that we have tiny bits of the ferro rod are coming off onto onto our stone, okay. Now set it in fire first, Lily. Woohoo! Fireworks, baby! Yay! <laughs> now, do you want to burn something? Yes. Let's burn something. 
this bar no, you let's run you. no, not the dog. Not the dog. Now, guys, bush bushcraft is about learning, basically. Okay, so it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a journey, of, and it's it's about learning about the natural world and the and the stuff that's around you in your environment that you can use to enhance it's your experience. experience. Yeah, it's a learning experience. Okay, but we need to start somewhere. So. The easiest way to start is stuff that is readily available, okay, to, to ignite the want to learn, okay. So, what we're going to start with guys is we're going to start with cotton pads, just cotton pads, alright. And what we're going to do is we're going to set these on fire. And these are an excellent fire starter guys, okay. Eva, you can join in as well if you want to get your fire rod and sit down there. Hello. Okay, so. Guys, this is just a standard cotton pad. There's nothing special about this at all. And what we're going to do with this, guys, is we're just going to... We're just going to open it up. And you'll find in bushcraft, guys, that a lot of stuff... You need to open it up. Or increase the surface area, guys. And that will help us burn this, okay? I hope that makes sense. I hope you can see that, okay, guys? That light's a little funny. So Lily is just, just, just going to open it up, she's going to hold it in place, okay, and she's just going to give it a spark. Ow. <laughs> it's I'm going to use fireworks to like pin it down as well so I can light it. Yeah, just, yeah. Ah, I burnt myself. Guys, normally one spark is all it takes, okay? Normally one spark is all it takes. Well done, Lily. Okay, so, now here's the thing, guys. If we're in a windy, windy environment, or if it starts to blow away, it is just a cotton pad, all right? They are very, very light. So all you do is, is you just put your foot on it, okay? Lily, you just put your foot on that for me. And guys, you just hold your foot on top of that, and all that is going to do is going to, uh, it's going to put that fire out by removing the oxygen, okay? Okay. Oh no, bring this coming. Okay. Guys, here's the crack. Now, they've got a taste for it. They want more. Of course they want more. Of course they want more, guys, because it's fun, right? So, what we're going to do now is we're going to introduce petroleum jelly, Vaseline, into the mix, okay? It's very, very simple how this works. Okay, so what the petroleum jelly is going to do, guys, it is going to extend the burn time on your cotton pad. Okay, very, very simply. All right, I don't know what I have done now with the cotton pads, I've taken two out the wrong way around. Okay, so what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to get the Vaseline right now. I only do it this way just, just, just to avoid a mess. Okay, uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to put Vaseline. I'm just saying Vaseline guys, you know, petroleum jelly, Vaseline, whatever you want. Uh, what I like to do is, is I like to hold my cotton pad like this, okay, with two fingers on one side and my thumb on the other side. And this is the side that I'm going to put Vaseline on, alright. And the only reason, you can put Vaseline all over this if you want, you can coat the whole world in Vaseline, whatever you want. It's just that it's super messy, okay. So by doing it on one side, all you're doing is it's just a little bit less messy okay so i'm just dipping it in and giving it a good old coat of vaseline just like that okay and then i'm going to put it down onto my pad now from oh let me turn you around so i can see what i'm doing see ya. 
You see, I'm so used to recording videos on my own that I talk to the camera like it's a person. Okay, Bruno! <laughs> Not now! Not right now! Go on, go, good dog, go! Guys, so, from, from my experience, Vaseline side down is best, okay? So, because it's Vaseline side down... It sticks to the It camera. sticks, exactly. So, it sticks, right? So, you open it up exactly the same way. Nothing has changed, guys, except that we have added Vaseline to the mix. Don't all right? that. So, the thing you know is that we don't have to hold it in place with our ferro rod, but what we, so what we can do is we can throw the sparks at it and we can we be a wee bit more adventurous with shooting sparks, okay? So, um, well, Lily's just gonna set this on fire for you, not yet, okay? And uh, we, I'll show you the difference in the burn time, okay? Just wait. Oh my god. No pressure, Lily. <laughs> good girl. Whoa, I didn't knock the camera over. Look at the flames and the smoke. Yeah, guys, okay, so I want you to I want you to just have a look at the smoke that's coming off it, okay? It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, it is kind of hard to see. Now guys, the same as with your standard cotton pad, if it's burning a bit too much or you just want to finish it up, you just put your foot on it, okay? We're not talking about a river dance here guys or anything like that, we're just talking about putting our foot on it, okay? By putting our foot on it, we remove the oxygen. Go Lily. You can stand up, it'll work better, okay? And just hold your foot in place and it'll go out. Thanks Lily. Right guys, and that's it. That's it for part one, fire lighting. Uh, homeschooling for adventurous Numero kids. Wally is not set up and doesn't have his uh, and does, doesn't have his thing. Okay, so <gasps> remember, guys, if if if, uh, if if the child is having an issue and getting a wee bit frustrated with making sparks, okay, and they're not making sparks, it's generally to do with the striker, okay, it's to do with the striker. So move the striker, change it to to different angles, see which works best, okay. Now. What we I would say 45 degrees is working best guys, but that's just my personal experience That's just from five five years or whatever four or five years of teaching Focus I'm from four years for me teaching teaching bushcraft, you know, so uh, that's That's the way I would look at it. All right battery is gonna die guys kids are worried about these things burning them burn me Lily Why would you do that? Why would you burn me? Guys, it doesn't burn. It doesn't hurt. Okay, it's not hot enough to burn you, all right? Unless it's like Guys, campfire. thanks for watching. Stay Bye. frosty. Lily, thank Bye. you very much. Bye-bye.